The Wild West didn't resemble much of what we see today in books and movies. Much of the mythology of the Old West was created while the territory was still being settled. Novelists and fiction authors sold their extravagant stories to the eastern states, but the reality was different. Gun duels to the death weren't that common, and bank robberies weren't as frequent as Hollywood makes us believe. Despite this, living in the Old West involved certain risks, many of them so terrifying that surviving day-to-day -day was a challenge. Below, we present the 10 most terrifying risks that cowboys and settlers faced in the Wild West. 1. A tense and resentful zone. During the 19th century, in the midst of colonization, the residents of the Wild West did not trust the government, feeling that it had no interest in the frontier towns. Taking justice into their own hands was a more attractive option than waiting for official help, resulting in constant anarchy. After the Civil War, many young men with limited job opportunities and skills headed west, becoming gunslingers or joining gangs. The lack of women, one for every ten men, further increased conflicts. 2. Indian Raids As settlers moved west, tensions with Native Americans escalated, leading to violent confrontations. The Indian Wars were endless battles in which the natives, despite being excellent fighters, could not resist the constant advance of settlers, army troops, and mercenaries hired to fight them. In the end, the natives were forced onto reservations, and the Indian Wars ended in the 1890s. 3. Everyone was armed. In the Wild West, most men carried weapons for self-defense. The famous six-shooter revolver was common, and many preferred rifles or shotguns. However, the combination of alcohol and card games often led to deadly shootouts. Murder rates in the West were so high that they even surpassed those in New York suburbs. Some towns began imposing restrictions on carrying firearms to control violence. Wild animals everywhere. The wildlife of the Wild West presented constant dangers. Grizzly bears, wolves, and American crocodiles posed threats to unsuspecting settlers. Additionally, rattlesnakes and venomous scorpions caused deaths due to the lack of antidotes and antibiotics at the time. Abundance of Dangerous Animals The Wild West was home to various wild animals that posed serious threats. Territorial and aggressive American crocodiles would attack if they felt threatened. Scorpions preferring warm and dry climates were most commonly found in Arizona, California, and New Mexico. The puma, the second largest feline in North America, would attack when cornered and could chase a fleeing human. Wild coyotes, although generally avoiding people, would attack farm animals such as dogs, sheep, and chickens. Attempting to rescue pets often resulted in farmers being bitten. Gangs of robbers and outlaws. The American West was a land full of crime. The lack of government and authorities meant that laws were practically non-existent, encouraging the rise of numerous gangs and outlaws. Many criminals from the East fled to the West to escape the law, and while some sought honest lives, most organized to rob travelers, stagecoaches, and even trains. Bank robberies were less common, but some daring outlaws like Jesse James attempted such crimes. Figures like Billy the Kid and Butch Cassidy became legendary. Billy the Kid, accused of more than 21 murders, was captured by Sheriff Pat Garrett but managed to escape, killing two guards. He was eventually shot by Garrett in 1881. Butch Cassidy, born in 1866, led the Wild Bunch Gang, which successfully robbed trains until the Pinkerton Agency began hunting them. Cassidy fled to South America, where he is believed to have been killed in a shootout with police in 1908. Pioneers in the West faced severe environmental conditions. From icy mountains to arid deserts, the climate could be deadly. During hot summers, hats were not just a fashion statement but a necessity to avoid heat stroke. Leather boots were essential for protection against snake and scorpion bites. Water was one of the most crucial resources. Without a reliable source, living or farming was impossible. Many miners and settlers established themselves near rivers or mountains where water sources were more accessible. The weather in the Wild West was unpredictable and often deadly. Violent tornadoes could appear out of nowhere destroying everything in their path. Those who weren't well prepared could easily perish due to these conditions. The shortage of doctors and medicines in the Wild West was alarming. 
Most deaths were due to diseases caused by drinking contaminated water or eating spoiled food rather than gunfights. Poor hygiene in the region increased the risk of illness. Doctors were few and medicines were scarce. Additionally, it wasn't uncommon to encounter fraudsters selling miracle cures and practicing medicine without proper training. Diseases in the Old West were extremely dangerous, especially due to the lack of hospitals and medical services. Mosquito, bed bug and flea bites were common, as were skin infections and scabies, which were treated with ineffective home remedies. Diseases such as dysentery, tuberculosis and typhoid fever were often fatal. Additionally, sexually transmitted infections like syphilis were common due to the poor hygiene of prostitutes. Lawmen in the Wild West often operated on the edge of legality with many using their power to extort local businesses. These agents were often former soldiers, explorers, or traders with practical skills, but they tended to act in their own interests. Due to this corruption, communities preferred vigilante justice, forming squads to confront outlaw gangs. Vigilantism and lynchings were common practices in many areas. Fights for control of land and water were fierce in the Wild West. Ranchers and miners fought to protect their interests, often hiring gunslingers to confront each other. A notorious example was the Pleasant Valley War in Arizona which lasted a decade, from 1882 to 1892, and involved the Graham and Tewksbury ranching families. This conflict left dozens dead and contributed to Arizona being viewed as too wild a territory to be admitted as a state to the United States. Despite the many risks and dangers of living in the Wild West, this region has left an indelible mark on popular culture. Stories of cowboys and bandits continue to entertain to this day. The myth of the Wild West has been perpetuated by hordes of dime novels, pulp fiction and Hollywood blockbusters, which have all contributed to a glorified image of cowboys, outlaws and lawmen. But beneath the surface of this mythical landscape lies a dark, gritty and often terrifying reality. In reality, the Wild West was a place where might made right and the powerful preyed on the weak. It was an era of lynch mobs, massacres, and brutal violence, where the rule of law was often just an illusion. One of the most shocking stories from the Wild West is that of the Donner Party, a group of settlers who set out for California in 1846, but ended up stuck in the Sierra Nevada mountains during the harsh winter. With no food and no way out, the party resorted to cannibalism to survive, leading to one of the most disturbing tales of survival in American history. The story of the Donner Party is a stark reminder of the brutal realities of the Wild West where the line between life and death was often blurred, and the struggle for survival was a daily existence. As we've explored the darker side of the Wild West, I hope you've come to realize that this era was far from the romanticized version we're often fed. The reality was often brutal, violent and terrifying, and it's only by confronting these nightmares that we can truly understand the complexity of this fascinating era. That's all for now. If you want to support the channel consider getting a membership. You can see the available options by clicking the join button below this video. Your support is optional but greatly appreciated. Until next time, I wish you an excellent day.